Hello guys and welcome to another profile tree video. So in today's video we are going to be looking at the most important WordPress plugins. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get started. So what exactly are the plugins? So plugins are a add-on software uh, that extends the functionality of the WordPress website. Now they're designed to enhance and customize the features and capabilities of your WordPress site. Plugins are created by developers and maybe the dev teams as well for WordPress. And it can be installed and activated on your WordPress site to add specific functionalities or services. Now, a few examples of the WordPress plugins are enhancing website functionality plugins. Now, plugins can add uh, new features and functionalities to your website. They can range from simple tasks like adding contact forms, social media sharing buttons, uh, image sliders, or even complex functionalities like e-commerce, event management, or membership systems. Moving on to that, of course, um, e-commerce and online payments. You can run an online store if you want to. So there's plugins like WooCommerce as well, which we'll look into later on. And uh, there are plugins specifically designed for e-commerce functionality. Now these plugins provide Features like product catalogs, you've got shopping carts, secure payment gateways, inventory management, and order tracking. Now, each site anyways has to be secured using SSL or a SSL certificate. So that's another thing that you will have to consider if you're gonna create an e-commerce website. Now, one as well is SEO optimization. Now there's plugins avail readily available uh, for specifically searching and improving the website's visibility and ranking in search engine results. The plugins provide tools for optimizing meta tags, generating XML sitemap maps, uh, improving page load speed and analyzing keyword usage. Now, going back to the security part, you would want to have some plugins as well for that, uh, especially for spam and any cybercrime. So, those sorts of security plugins can enhance the site's security. Now, you have to make sure that you protect yourself against malicious attacks, spam comments, and unauthorized access. Of course, people who uh, hack into the website can create a user account and simply just log in from there. That's a couple of uh, examples as well. Uh, ones would be for analytics and tracking. So that's another plugin you can use and there's plenty of plugins available to integrate analytics and tracking services to your WordPress site. Uh, you have social media integration. You also have social media marketing or you know marketing analytics. There's quite a heavy amount of plugins to use on the WordPress site in order to enhance the website's functionality. Anyway, enough talk about the plugins. Uh, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and show you some of the plugins that are available on WordPress itself and what I would recommend for you guys to use. Okay, so starting off with our first one, it is Yoast SEO. So with Yoast SEO, this is a comprehensive SEO plugin and it helps you optimize your website for search engines. Also provides a XML sitemap generation, meta tag management, readability anal analysis and content optimization as well as the social media integration. Now, it guides you in improving your website's visibility as well within the search engine results and helps you create a SEO-friendly content, especially if you're creating blogs as well. Now, if you simply just search within the search plugins, uh, SEO or even Yoast, you'll easily find that there. It might be on the top results, as you can see. There it is within the top results. Now, with the pros of this, I would say it helps. It does help improve search engine visibility. Also provides content optimization suggestions. And as I've, um, I've mentioned, it does generate XML sitemaps and integrates with social media platforms. However, the con with using Yoast SEO is that it can be overwhelming for beginners due to the extensive features and settings. Now, if you wanted to install, uh, simply just click the install button and then that directly adds within your plugins. Now, you can find a little bit more detail on it if you just click on the 
logo itself, uh, a little bit of description, the installation as well, some of the FAQs, so re uh, recently or frequently asked questions, uh, you've got reviews as well on it and a couple of screenshots on how it looks. And, but yeah, you can find more information there for you guys. Now, if you are wanting to create a robust e-commerce website, what I would recommend for you guys to use as a plugin would be the WooCommerce One. And just a little bit of background story on WooCommerce. It's a very popular e-commerce plugin for WordPress. Now it transforms your website into a feature rich online store, allowing you to sell physical and digital products, manage inventory, set pricing and shipping options. And you can also handle secure payment processing. But what would be best when you are creating an e-commerce website is to also have your SSL security. You need the, you need it anyway, just to gain some trust for any visitors to your website, whether it be e-commerce or non e-commerce. Anyway, we'll go ahead and jump into it and take a look at the WooCommerce plugin. So again, if you wanted to search it up, it is just on the top there, but uh, just within the search results, the popular ones actually, uh, it is just around here. So again, same thing, just click install. If you want to find a little bit more information about WooCommerce itself, just take a click on it. You, you have your description, installation, FAQ, and so on. Now it is frequently updated. As you can see, it was updated last week. So if you're wondering about security or anything like that, or if there is a bit of issues on it, uh, since the community is fairly active, of course, uh, reviews are created uh, in order to improve the actual plugin. So not to worry uh, on that case. Now our next one is Agasmet. Uh, hopefully I pronounced that right. It's uh, Agasmet. So it this one's a spam filtering plugin that protects your website from comment spam. So that's another sort of thing that you want to maybe avoid. Uh, so of course there's readily available plugins for that. It automatically detects and filters out spam comments, saving you time and maintaining a clean commenting system. Now it keeps your website's discussions focused on the genuine user engagement. Now spam would more or less be, if you, if you ever watched a YouTube video, you check the comment section and there's a bunch of spam which mainly lead dodgy links, uh, something that you may not want. So it's it's pretty much like security as well. So uh, people posting dodgy links to uh, websites or just regular spam or hate spam or anything like that, uh, you may just want to get rid of that. Things that aren't relevant to the actual topic on hand. Now easy enough to search up. Uh, all you need to do is just search it up within the plugins. And as you can see, it is the first one there. It's at the anti-spam protection. So again, it's right. It's updated regularly enough. So it's been updated about a month ago. So I am assuming that there's no other issues. Uh, of course, if you wanted to check the reviews, just double check. So May 16th, that's fairly regular. Uh, it's about a month ago now. So um, as you can see, there's a full good review there, a couple of other ones as well. So just uh, if you would like to download it far away, it's a great way to avoid the uh, spams within your comment section. Our next one there is Jetpack. Now Jetpack is a multifunctional plugin and it offers a suite of features to enhance your website. So it includes website performance optimization tools. You've got security features like brute force attack protection as well. You've got downtime monitoring, social media sharing and engagement tools, traffic statistics and more. Jetpack provides a centralized solution for multiple website needs. Now, if you were looking into the pros and cons, with using Jetpack, I would say that it provides a bunch of those features as I've mentioned, like site stats, security enhancements, downtime monitoring, social media sharing, and performance optimization. However, the con with it be is that some features may require a paid subscription, 
So if you're looking to get a free plugin, this may, may not be the plugin for you. That means it enables too many modules that can affect the website performance as well. So as you can see from what we searched up earlier on, it's actually just below that. So Jetpack, it's WP security, it's got backup speed and growth, of course. It's at a four star rating currently at the minute and it looks like the last update was two weeks ago so again regularly updated so something that you don't need to worry about and it's created by the same people as well uh automatic so akasmet and jetpack both created by the same people so reputable enough if you're getting that many reviews on it as well then it would be secure to use this particular plugin so our next one here is contact form 7 now with contact form 7 uh, the purpose of this is it's basically a popular plugin for creating and managing contact forms for your website uh, you can easily manage them you can custom build them as well there's various fields and options to choose from um, there's like set up email notifications as well you can manage multiple forms on your website it's a straightforward and flexible way to enable visitors to contact you. Now, I would say the pros on this particular plugin would be that it can allow you to create customizable contact forms with ease, supports multiple forms, provides flexible form management options. Now, I would say the con on this is that you may need to have some technical uh, knowledge on coding as some form design customizations may require some HTML and CSS knowledge and advanced features may require additional plugins or extensions. So that's some of the cons and pros to using Contact Form 7. So that's just there uh, above, uh, as you can see, it's, it's been... So it's recently been updated about three weeks ago and if we have a look into the detail uh, you can get more information in the description how to install it as well so you can see that you have to go through a directory as well uh, you can see some of the reviews on there also so there it is there's contact form 7 so similar to contact form 7 we have the wp forms now wp forms um, the purpose of this is that it is a user-friendly form builder plugin and allows you to create and customize forms for your website uh, as well as that the features of WP, uh, WP forms is that it has a drag and drop interface making it easy to add fields customize form layout and design also uh, the setup form notifications as well you can create contact forms surveys order forms subscription forms and more making it a versatile tool for collecting user information and feedback. Now that's pretty much the pros, the fact that it's a drag and drop builder and you can create customized forms easily. However, the cons would be is that some advanced form features may require a premium version and complex forms may require additional add-ons or integrations. So that's it there, WP Forms. It's got a five star, so five out of five. And it is, it ha well, it has been updated about a month ago. So the reviews are pretty good on it. So it's a five out of five for each one. So it may be something that you can consider using. And it is a beginner friendly uh, contact form, or yes, contact form to use. Uh, if you want more information on it, just Take a look at the description, installation, and the FAQs on the WP forms. Our next one here is WordFence Security. Now, this is a comprehensive security plugin that protects your website from various threats. That includes robust firewall to block malicious traffic, malware scanning as well to detect and remove potential threats. You've got login security features to prevent brute force attacks as well and real-time monitoring to keep you informed about any security issues and this ensures that your website your website's integrity is secure and safe as well. 
Now, as I've mentioned about the pros, its robust security includes firewall protection, malware scanning, login security, and real-time monitoring. However, I would say the cons is that it may consume server resources during intense scanning and some advanced settings may require technical knowledge to configure. So it can't affect the site's performance uh, temporarily, but it's something that you would have to consider, in, um, especially for protecting your website from malware and malicious attacks. So there it is, there's WordFriend Security. Now it's been updated two months ago, and as mentioned, it's firewall, malware scanner, and two-factor authentication and comprehensive security features. It's powered by A24R team as well now. Again, as I've said uh, within the previous plugins, if you want more information on it, just check the description, uh, how you install it, and the FAQ as well. But guys, that pretty much reaches the end of the video. Now remember, the suitability of each plugin depends on the specific needs and nature of your website. So it's recommended to carefully assess the pros and cons of each plugin and make sure that you overlook them as well, test them out just before uh, deciding to keep it there for your website. Now it can't affect website performance, so just take a note of that when you're having your plugins. Anyways guys, if you have any issues at all or if you found the video helpful leave a comment in the comment section below but as i said that reaches the end of the video and i will see you for the next one thank you very much for watching